Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flickin' Feathers again today and I'm tying a real lightweight scruffy buzzer, just an olive version. These are absolutely excellent, these flies. Um, great for when there's fish just feeding on emergers or the pupa coming up to the surface but not quite on the adults. It's an absolutely excellent fly. Fish high in the water column. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel get access to the members only content as well as being entered into the giveaways so I've got my hook and my vice, it's a size 12 uh, fully mill, all purpose medium weight and I've just run on a bed of 8 dot uni thread got to tie in my breathers first right, front and back Just. And this is just a length of Antron yarn, and I've split it in half, so it's nice and sparse. I'm going to tie that back right to the start of the bend. Just leave the front a wee bit longer than it, and I'll just trim that at the back of the hook. For the rib, I am using buzzer wrap. Just catch that in. Tidy up the waist. Now, for the the body, I'm using this Swiss line monkey dub. But any wee like hairs here, squirrel seals for anything kind of scruffy, spike, slightly spiky, rough dubbing is fine. And really, I mean these. Should be tying these in various colours as well, you know, I'd, I'd have a row in my box. Tw ten, uh, probably 10s, 12s and 14s. Different colours. So I'm just dubbing this on, all rough. Don't worry if the thread pokes through at any point. Although, I'll just go back there. Right, and you can see this is really spiky, this dubbing. Um, And then, if there's any of them that are a wee bit too long, you can sort of rip them out. And then just take your rib up. I like my rib to be quite close. You see it quite changes the effect of the... Dubbing. Four turns I've taken there. And that sort of tightens up the body a wee bit. And this dubbing is so spiky, I don't need to rub it with the Velcro, but I'm going to come in, I'm just going to trim away some of these really long fibres. Wing buds, dead easy. Just, I've got four strands of Glowbright number six which is quite a deep rich orange that I like doesn't really matter, whatever you want really I'm going to tie it on the side just draw in oops, try that again just going to draw in the waist until it's sort of got to be included in the or covered up by the thorax and then got to trim it quite short Just about the first turn of the rib. Same on that side. Once it's pulled in, you can tighten everything up. And then just reach out and use the last one as your guide. Make sure they're sitting how you like. You want them definitely on each side. It's a wee bit long. Better. So you just get this wee hint of the, the orange. They don't need to be massive. And then just a bit more of the same dubbing. I'm going to 
to dub it at the front and I'm going to run my thread through just to sort of tighten it up a wee bit. Bring the thread to the front and lift those breathers slightly. That finish and another. You can use the tool if you like. I I mean, you'll see my videos, I use both the tool and my fingers. So it just depends what kind of mood I'm in, really. Trim away. And you've missed. Trim the breather. And there you go. It's a wee lightweight, scruffy buzzer. But, I mean... If you're fishing still waters, you'll not go far wrong with these in a warm day. So I hope that was useful, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines guys, bye.